Uh, this is uh, part 16 and um, in this I'm just going to give um, a very very quick look at uh, try, assert and synchronize statements and um, it is uh, going to be a very brief uh, overview basically I'm not going to go into any sort of detail at all but um, just enough so that um, we can uh, look at some other stuff in a, a bit more detail Okay, a quick uh, thumbnail sketch of uh, try statements. Right then, um, now there are lots of different errors can occur in a program. Um, uh, you know, divide by zero, an attempt to access an array with an index which is um, out of bounds, too big or too small. Um, uh, an attempt to open a file can fail, for instance, if your file's been deleted or if um, the user doesn't have enough privileges. Um, you know, there's hundreds of one different sorts of errors can occur. Now, all of these errors and more um, are handled by an exception mechanism. It's called the exception mechanism. And um, the code which uh, first detects the error executes um, the statement um, throw followed by some expression. Uh, and that expression has got to be of type throwable or a subtype of throwable and uh, this causes execution to stop where it is right and if the throw statement occurs within a try block so normally it would be somewhere between there and there okay it searches for a matching catch where the type thrown matches the exception or is a subtype of it. So the type thrown okay, has, has got to match the type here or be a subtype of it. That's what it's searching for. And the first one that matches right, causes that block in there to be executed which uh, may in turn um, trigger another throw statement. Not necessarily but it might do. And um, under all circumstances, though, this finally code gets executed. Right now, that roughly is what happens. Um, uh, this um, exception type, uh, this parameter one here, parameter one in this case, gets set to that exception, so you can access stuff inside um, this, um, this thing, which is a subtype of throwable. So this code in here can use that parameter one to access stuff in that exception. Well, that's roughly what happens. Well then, um, uh, at most um, one catch block is executed, and um, and this uh, finally block, if it's if it's there at all, is um, always executed, um, even if there's no error at all. Now, um, now, if the error is not caught by one of these um, catch blocks, then what happens is the the current method returns um, to the place where it was called from, and um, the searching continues there for a suitable catch block. And um, uh, this process is repeated all the way up the hierarchy, all the way up the call hierarchy. And if it's not caught anywhere at all, then the Java virtual machine which started the program originally will catch the error and display an appropriate error message. And um, now uh, there are two types of exception. There's something called a, a checked exception and an unchecked exception. Now um, unchecked exceptions are things like um, divide by zero or stuff like that which you're not expected to be able to, to catch at all. You just that's just a hard sort of runtime error. Um, but there are other things like um, uh, file not found type errors in the I.O. system, for instance, which you would be expected to check for and test because those are something which not uh, don't indicate an intrinsic problem in the program. Um, there's something that you ought to test for. So uh, those are classified as checked exceptions. And um, if a method throws a checked exception, it has to be declared, and it's done 
like this with a throws clause after the uh, method header as it were so it goes in there and followed by whatever the exception is which is being thrown now um, likewise any procedure that happens to call this method if it did not surround the call with a try uh, block um, with a catch that um, caught that exception we would also have to declare that that exception could be thrown Okay, uh, and this sort of thing is enforced by the compiler so it ensures that you do catch all these um, checked exceptions and um, that um, basically is the exception handling mechanism in a, in a nutshell or obviously there's an awful lot more detail to go into but uh, uh, that will do for the time being